What's going on you guys? This is a Max KDI here with another HP Elite 8200. This is convertible mini tower and to upgrade upgrading the memory, hard drive to the solar state drive and upgrading a VD card. And this is like gonna be like for the gaming. So you're gonna move the side cover panel right here. And I have here uh, what is it? i7-2600. It's a quad-core processor, so I'm not gonna upgrade. It's the fastest the motherboard supports uh, i7-2600 Intel Core i7. 2600 it supports maximum that's what I have in here got 8 gigs of memory but I'm gonna add two more sticks so we're gonna go 16 uh, 16 gigs of memory maximum on here and we're gonna install the video card through PCI Express x16 slot right here the black one the top one right there and we've got a hard drive in here I'm gonna try to show you guys how to upgrade the hard drive and we're gonna install the soul state drive right here on top I'll show you how to do that so the power supply in here guys is a 320 watt and it's using special kind of HP power supply so the ATX will not work because of the way it connects it. It's only for the HP where you can get the part number. It's a 320 watt. We're going to install a low profile, uh, not a low profile. We're going to install a low power consumption video card like a mini uh, GTX uh, 950. Uh, we we'll install a mini low power consumption video card right in here so this does not require six pin connections to it. And it's a 320 watt power supply so low power consumption video cards will work perfectly fine for like gaming, light like gaming. So first off, we're gonna do, guys, is uh, we're gonna upgrade the memory in here. It's a DDR3, 1333, 90 CCM buffer memory, and uh, you can I like the Kingston Crucial or Corsair. Those are the top three brands I like. So I'm gonna install the memory in here. It's a DDR3, 1333. You're gonna hear two clicks when the memory install properly. So we upgrade the memory a 4 gig per, per each slot, so it's got a total of 16 gigs maximum the motherboard supports. And now we're going to try to remove the hard drive. And we're gonna, if you're going to upgrade the hard drive, there's a little clip right here. I'll show you guys right here, you press it up a little bit gently. You don't want to break it off right here, the little plastic clip to release the hard drive. Seven inch. And... I need to get a torque screwdriver. If you don't have a torque screwdriver, then you can just use a regular flathead, perfectly fine. And it's actually Torx T15 screwdriver. You guys can use. If you don't have a Torx, then you can just use a flathead, perfectly fine. So you're gonna move the screws on here for the hard drive. So we're gonna go to the other side. And upgrade to another hard drive. It's really easy, really quick. And the other side. Okay, the screw fell off, so I'm gonna get the screw back. Yeah, this mini, this convertible mini tower works perfectly fine with Windows 10 uh, 64-bit with the Intel Core i7 2600 processor in here, quad core, and it'd be perfectly fine for light gaming. So here's the hard drive, you guys. Uh, we installed the screws in another one. Here's the older one. So just reconnect it right back in here like this, and reconnect the SATA cable and power and I'm going to show you guys how to install a solid state drive without any caddy so here's a solid state drive right here 2.5 inch you can use any solid state drive you, you want it doesn't matter because what we're going to do is uh, we're going to install it right here two side tape right here so we're going to go install it just right here can you see it right here where the optical drive is bay is we're going to install it like this so easy and what you need is uh, get a soul buy a soul state drive. I, if you guys are gonna be using it for gaming or editing, I would say go at least like a 500 gig uh, soul state drive. Soul state drive, you get at least 500 gigs. So we, what you need is uh, you need a so you need a two sided clear tape. They sell this in any hardware store or some grocery stores that sell this too. And it's a two sided tape right here. You guys can see. And what you're gonna do is uh, cut this piece off like this and mount it on it one side 
and the other one like this. Now, as I see the sole stitch out the back side now, what you can do is just go like this, really easy, really quick, like that, and like that. See? Now remove this, the clear tape right here, remove the stickers on it so it has a stick on it. It's a two-sided tape. Now what you should do is you're going to mount it with a 525 bay right here for the optical drive, the bottom one, like this. And you're going to use the connection, the power, or the optical drive right here. There's another one right here, so click on the connect that. And, and just install it right here, really easy. It should, it should stick pretty well. So just like that, and it's not going to move anywhere. And you're done. And now we're going to connect, uh, if you're not going to be using a regular hard drive, 72 RPM, then just connect the SATA cable right to this solar state drive like this. And if you do, if you're going to use another hard drive, then you just get another SATA cable. And we connect it right here to the solar state drive, and it should not move anywhere because we connected the two side tape, which is pretty strong. They sell this in any hardware store, you guys can get this, or some grocery store sell it's really cheap. Uh, this is like a big roll, but you can get like a smaller one, like a, maybe like a few inches, and they sell it for like $2. Really, really cheap, $2, 3 they sell it. So any hardware stores, they usually sell it. It's a two-sided tape right here. So really easy, really quick. You don't even need to buy any other for the hard drive caddy for the solid state drive. So you guys, we just installed the solid state drive. We installed the memory. And the last part we're going to do, we're going to go to the video card. I'm going to try to move the camera down. And right here, you guys, there's going to be clips right here. Right here, you press on them with the finger. Be really careful. And there's one going to be in the bottom to release the expansion slots right here. And right here, so we're going to do is remove the... Move this right here. And uh, PC, we're gonna move the PCI bracket. If you guys are gonna be using two of the the video card right here, we're gonna install GTX 950 Mini, and I'll show you the video card. So you're gonna move the PCI brackets right here. Another one, just one right here, and the second one right there. I'll show you guys how to do that, like this. Move the PCI brackets, and let me get the video card in here. Yeah, guys, I'm installing the Asus uh, GTX. Uh, it's an Asus G4 GTX 950 Mini. And you guys can buy this online, and this is low power consumption, you know, up to 75 watt, and it worked perfectly fine on this. Uh, with this power supply, it's only 320 watt. But I can't guarantee which video really cards will work. Uh, some video really cards they require a minimum 400 watt, but this one's low power consumption video really card, so you don't have to upgrade power supply because the power supply in here. Is really hard to uh, you can't get like a ATX in here because this is a special kind of AHP uses with a pin. So uh, see here's the video card. Uh, it's a uh, Asus GeForce GTX 950. Uh, this is mini, and this does not require six pin power connection. It's low power consumption video card. So let me go ahead and install the video card here. We're gonna install it through the PCI Express X16 slot right here, the black slot right there, and it's really easy, really quick. So we install the video card. Yeah, there's a little for the PCI bracket over here, the secure lock over here. You clip it back in here. And uh, so let's see. So we upgraded the video card. Now what you guys are gonna do is uh, when you close the side cover pack panel back on here. So this is what we guys did. We upgraded the video card. We upgraded the hard drive, solar state drive, and the memory. And let me close the side cover panel right here. And what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna go to the website nvidia.com and get the drivers for the video card. Uh, if you got 64 beta Windows 10, then you just get the drivers from nvidia.com for the video card you have. Install the drivers, connect the monitor, and restart the computer to get the video card work properly because you need the drivers for the video card. You can just go to nvidia.com and get the drivers for it and just uh, choose which operating system you have. That's about it. And just restart the computer. So, you guys, this is uh, will be the end of the video. This is uh, HP Elite 8200, the convertible mini tower. Thanks for watching. Bye.